Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So I've been planning to do a video on, on the new Splinterland uh, token, the Splinter Shards, for a while. Just never got around to doing it. So um, this, this, this is that video that I should have done probably about um, a week or two weeks ago. Um, I'm not going to go into massive detail on this. So I'll put a link in. There is, um, obviously we can see here, there is a, you know, a, a lot of documentation around what they're doing here. Um, high concept is not, is not kind of complex, but I think you know, with all these sort of governance tokens, and this one in particular, because it's cross cross chain, um, there is quite a lot of complexity around it. So I'm not going to go through everything, um, but just to say, so the Splinter Shards is basically a governance token for the Splinterlands game. Um, we don't need to go through the law of it all. Um, uh, the sort of the, the 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 high the high end concept stuff is basically they're creating this new token, um, and a, a, as ever, you know. Certain percentages of that token will be will be apportioned to different people, so the dev team will get some, and advisors will get some, and and some will be spent on marketing. Um, so, th but thirteen percent is going to be airdropped to people who are who are playing Splinterlands, and it's not like a lot of these airdrops where they do a kind of a snapshot at a certain period in time when no one knows, and then they tell people, um, you know, if you were if you were playing the game, you know, last week you're going to get these tokens. This is much more um, kind of gradual and and much more kind of transparent. So. This is this is I think I think part of this token release is to encourage people to go you know to come and play Splinterlands if they haven't already or people who who have played it to to kind of re-engage because the more the more assets you hold in Splinterlands the more of this uh, SPS token you're going to get airdropped on a daily basis <laughs> for the next sort of year or so so that's kind of a, you know a, an interesting way of of basically keeping people engaged in your game um, by rewarding them for for, for playing it um, one complexity here is Splinterlands is running on the Hive blockchain. Um, and the uh, SPS token runs on Binance Smart Chain. Um, so there is obviously uh, quite a lot of friction around that. What's important to note here is, is um, as they say, it will not be necessary for players to have a Binance Smart Chain wallet or interact with Binance Smart Chain in order to earn the tokens. So the tokens will be earned by basically you um, doing stuff in Splinterlands and potentially other, um, other kind of uh, liquidity um, things on other blockchains. But you don't need to, you don't need to um, get involved with Binance Smart Chain. I mean, Binance Smart Chain is pretty easy to do. It's a Ethereum based sort of sort of system. Um, but tokens, the tokens earned will be held in and held in the game will be locked in the smart contract um, until a player chooses to transfer them to a wallet. Um, so there is this Oracle system that's going to sort of link link the two up. Um, this is going to take a bit of time to develop and obviously you have to go through a lot of auditing, make sure it works. So so um, um, actually, it's interesting that that the token will start being airdropped to people in terms of it will be airdropped to, to their accounts um, or, or accredited to their accounts, even if they can't claim it um, before this Oracle system even even is, is kind of um, completed. Um, so basically, the, sort of the, the headline figure here is if you're interested in this sort of thing, uh, start playing Splinterlands now. <laughs> or if, you, if you're already playing Splinterlands, start playing Splinterlands more um, and, and uh, you'll start earning this token, um, which you know, will, it's a governance token, so um, it, it will allow you to do kind of vote on, 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 on the kind of project going forward. And obviously, potentially might be worth something as well. We, we know we don't really know about uh, that sort of stuff. Um, quickly go through some of these token distributions. So we can see here, this is actually you know 60 60 months. So, so you know a, a long uh, process. Uh, three three billion allocation is is this is the airdrop. This is what we were talking about. If you're for people who are playing uh, Splinterland, issued over 12 months. There'll be a DAO, uh, private sale for investors. The team will, will get a whole bunch. Um, partners and investors play to earn. So this is sort of um, going into the game and marketing, staking an Oracle reward. So if you're staking tokens to allow liquidity to happen, um, you earn some more there as well. But you can see here, yeah, these, these, these is 65 months. So this is over five years. Um, that's just explaining all that. Um, the airdrop. Okay, um, so this is what we're getting to players based on the amount and types of Spinsland assets held in their account. Oh, I don't know what's done there. Um, we can see here, oh, that's horrible. Um, so you get one airdrop point depending for, for every for every collection power you've got. Um, uh, for every DEC token you've got, you get an airdrop point. For every DEC you have a liquidity pool, you get two points. For every, if you've got these unopened packs, you get a whole bunch of these. If you've got land, land sold out now, you can you can buy it on secondary markets. You get ten thousand per land. Um, all these other sort of things. So so yeah, that's basically how it's gonna how it's gonna pan out. Um, even if you hold these assets on on other blockchains, you will still get the uh, the airdrop. Um, the stuff that's listed on exchanges, you won't do. 
Um, there's a DAO being set up. I'm not going to go into all this. Uh, play to earn. So a whole bunch of, of stuff you can do um, for this is a different pool. This is not the airdrop pool for holding assets. This is an airdrop pool for doing things. So doing doing battles, doing if you get this, if you stake the tokens, you get some stuff. If you do L, uh, liquidity provision uh, on AMMs, you get it. Blah, 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 blah. There's a whole bunch of other stuff going on there. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you stake your your SPS, uh, you get another whole bunch of other kind of rewards. Obviously, if you're staking stuff, you're lock, you're locking it up um, and then, then you're not kind of selling it. So so this is in general, I'm going to go through all this. Um, let's go to the release schedule at the end. Um, so um, this is going to take considerable time to to build and test. Um, so um, so rather than waiting, the, the team is going to release the token and begin airdrop in game while it's being developed. So so this is like, a, you know, as I say, the airdrops will start before you can kind of before all the functionality is there. Um, so this is, you know, as I say, the headline thing is just encourage people to start playing Spinslands again. Um, and we see the airdrops, the airdrop stuff is going to start in July. Um, the bridges between Spinslands platform and Binance Smart Chain will start um, in July. In, July 2021, um, all these other incentives will start happening as the year goes on. Um, but the but the contracts and, doc, and Oracle stuff isn't going to happen till till Q1 2022. Um, so you know that is what it is. It's, it's a fairly you know I think technically it's kind of fairly complex doing this sort of stuff across chain and the auditing stuff obviously need, needs to be 100%. Um, but in general, um, you know, the, the headline figure is, uh, yeah, start playing Spinterlands if you haven't already. Um, <laughs> and it's got an encouragement. I kind of kind of find I go through phases with Spinterlands. I start playing it and, and then I kind of drop off and do other things. And then I sort of get, get back into it for a week. And um, and so so this is an encouragement to um, to spend a bit more time and maybe, um, you know, buy some more cards or, you, you know, potentially you want, you want to look at how the um, token distribution happens um, and, and, and kind of how the airdrop is being worked out. So you kind of start to see, you know, Build up your number of cards you've owned. Build up your collection. Maybe buy some DEC. Not investment advice, um, but uh, maybe land as well. Um, interesting. So lots going on with Splinter Lands. You know, it's got this kind of roadmap of what's going on with the land stuff. Uh, it's just sold out all the lands. So it's all just on secondary markets now. Um, but it's good to have these these new these new tokens coming out that really kind of help retention. I think. Um, so so hopefully that will see uh, give Splinter Lands a boost um, over the coming uh, months and years. Um, thanks for watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World, where we uh, spend our time playing these new sorts of games and trying to make sense of them all. So please subscribe to the channel. But thanks for watching and see you again soon.